IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to the first episode of the Braves Beat for the 2024-25 school year. I'm Patrick Langworthy. And I'm Birch Carter. So, Birch, how's your school year going so far? It's going pretty well. I'm excited to be a senior. Me too. We got a lot of news to cover, so let's get right to it. Get set for Blood Cancer Awareness Month this September. Join the fight with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Against Blood Cancers. Every three minutes, a new hero battles these in the U.S. Get involved as a volunteer by visiting the website in the description. Participate in local events or become an advocate for LLS. Braves Bee reporter Mike Asilashatz had an opportunity to interview Miss Clark and Miss Heiler about the new dance class this year. Let's roll the clip. Hello Braves, my name is Micah Solashatz and I would like to welcome our arts director, Miss Amy Clark, and our new dance teacher, Miss Amy Heiler, to our studio today. Hi Micah. Hi. Um, could you guys each please give us some background on how our school got a dance class? Sure. So when I first got to Indian Hill in 2021, um, one of the questions that I asked was, is there a dance program? And the answer was no, which was shocking to me because I'd seen premieres, sing and dance on stage. I'd been to many of the theatrical performances. Um, second question, Ms. Heiler, what is your background in history and in dance? So I started dance when I was three years old and was one of those kids that just kept going with it. I tried other things, but always kept coming back to dance. So I continued dancing all through high school and then decided at that point I knew I really wanted to try to be a professional dancer, which is not always the case. It's a tough field to find a job. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna go to school and I love teaching. So after graduating, I ended up dancing with a company called Ethnic Dance Company in Atlanta, Georgia, and got to do a ton of different types of dance genres. Then I ended up transferring up here to Cincinnati, and I started dancing with a company called De La Dance Company. Uh, what do you have planned for the dance class this year? So right now we're gonna start first semester at the high school, offering it during flex. Mrs. Heiler is literally going to have an open dance class. It's going to be in the high school choir room. That's going to be an awesome kind of start for what's happening up here at the high school and hopefully either next semester or next year you will be able to actually take dance and have it count towards your PE credit. Mrs. Heiler is also going to go down to the elementary school so if you have siblings down at the elementary school she's going to teach a dance go time. And that's really going to give us this K-12 to dance experience just kind of starting off in two buildings for this year to see how it goes and what the reception is so that's sort of where we are right now. Uh, that sounds so good. Um, Miss Clark, what do you envision for the future of our dance class? The good news is the sky's the limit and that's why I'm really excited about this year and Ms. Tyler's super excited because we're really going to see what the students want. Um, so it's definitely one of those things that even though we kind of have an idea, we're really excited for student input. So definitely if you have ideas about dance, reach out to one of us mm -hmm. um, and we would love to hear your ideas as well. Um, is there anything either of you would like to share with our Braves Beat viewers that are watching right now? I would just like to say that please know that dance is for everybody. I, I don't want you to feel like you have to have experience. Absolutely, and it's fun. Like, put, get yourself out of your comfort zone. Uh, try something new. Well, thank you both so much for coming to the studio today. Thank this you. has been awesome to speak with you. Thanks, Thanks Micah. So thank you. Now back to the news desk. Welcome, Ms. Heiler, to our brave family. It should be a fun year. We would like to welcome our new staff members to our Indian Hill High School family. Welcome aboard and go Braves. While our fall sports teams are off and running, let's toss it over to our sports reporters, Chase Rolfe and Henry Conan, for this week's report. Hello, Braves. My name is Chase Rolfe. And I'm Henry Conan with this week's sports report. Braves football faces off against Roger Bacon on Friday in their first regular season game. The theme is whiteout, so put on some white and go support your Braves. The field hockey team opened their season on Thursday at home for Oakwood. We'll have the scores for you that next week. The girls tennis team started off their season with a 4-1 to one win against both Orange and Columbus Academy. They play at Mason and Oakwood this week. Those scores will be in next week's sports report. The boys and girls cross country team start the season off this Friday at the Buckeye Running Company Sunset Invitational. 
Men's soccer won their season opener last Friday at McNick 3-0 and then went to beat Summit Country Day 4-0 at home on Tuesday. Girls soccer played their first two games of the season on Friday and Tuesday, beating Batavia 2-1 and Monroe 3-1. They play again this Saturday at Cincinnati Country Day. In golf, the girls team played this Thursday at versus Talawanda, and we will have the results for that next week. The men's golf team traveled to the Springboro Invite on Monday and finished with a team score of 375. The Braves played again this Thursday in the Roger Bacon Invite, and we'll have those scores for you next week. The volleyball team played at Talawanda last Saturday and could not bring a home a win. They play again this Saturday at home versus Cincinnati Country Day. Good luck, Braves. Again, I'm Chase Rolfe. And I'm Henry Conan with this week's Sports Report. Back to you at the desk. Thanks for catching us up all on our fall sports teams. Go Braves. We asked returning high schoolers how they felt about the new freshmen. Check it out. How do you feel about the new freshmen? Um, they're not bad. They just got to learn and be more respectful. Are they better than last year's freshmen? No. How do you feel about the new freshmen this year? Um, not as annoying as I thought. Really? Could you could you elaborate on that? Um, some of them are chill. Nice, nice. How do you feel about this year's freshmen? They're stealing all the neighborhoods. It's annoying. That's annoying. I hate that. Hey, so we'll see. Hi. Hey, can we get someone on Brave Speed? We gotta ask him about the freshman. Come on, someone, we need somebody. Come on. This is a good class. Come on. It is a good class. Come on. Knocking next time and asking. I did knock. It's someone open. Okay. Taking a free test. Oh. Well, anyway. Mac, 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 my friend, how do you feel about the new freshman this year? Um. No pressure. There's some cool people, I guess. <laughs> that's all you're gonna get. That that's all. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hunt. How do you feel about the new freshmen this year? They're great. <laughs> you guys suck it. Answer the question, man. Um, I think they're great. Yes. Thank you. What is your name? Nate. How do you feel about this year's uh, new freshmen? Uh. Some of them are a little strange. Well, there you have it, quite direct. I'm here with Jesse. Jesse, how do you feel about the new freshmen this year? I think the freshmen are pretty cool, but they definitely love their gold hinge skirts and could, you know, maybe diversify their outfits. Wow, some constructive criticism, thank you. Mr. Gruber, do you have any words of advice for the freshmen? Oh man, take advantage of all the great opportunities you're gonna have the next four years. It's gonna be an amazing experience. Welcome to IHHS, freshmen. We are very excited to be hosting four students from the Canary Islands who will each be shadowing an IH student from August 19th to September 14th. If any of them are in your class, please help them be involved as much as possible. Welcome to Braves Country. Congratulations to Ardisha and Jane who were selected by the National Society of High School Scholars to become a member of the esteemed organization. The society recognizes top scholars who have demonstrated outstanding leadership, scholarship, and community commitment. Congratulations. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Yeah.